Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Easter baking video. For this one, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is the chickens. I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper or parchment paper. You always make sure that you work over the smooth part on top. I'm going to be using some yellow real icing. I do have the recipe for my real icing. It's on my channel. And I'm going to be doing this with my tipless prepping bags. I do have the review for those ones. But yeah, first I'm going to outline the face and then I'm going to fill it in. Once I have done that, I'm just going to take my scribe tool. I do have the DIY for this one if you want to check it out it's on my channel as well and yeah i'm just going to be making a bunch of them once they are crust i'm going to be using orange uh real icing and i'm just going to be working on the details of the face and the body and stuff then i'm going to be applying some small tiny eyes with some black real icing i'm just going to be taking my scrub tool and i'm going to add a small tiny white real icing dot in the middle of the black and then i'm just going to be adding some you know details here and there just to make it cuter and you can pretty much customize it to your own like liking each uh, chicken can have like its own expression and that's what i wanted to um, do here and then i think they look super cute but yeah i'm just going to let them crest for the eggs i'm just going to make a pattern this shape and then i'm just going to cut those pieces of paper with my scissor obviously and then this one i'm just going to cut it i prefer to do this instead of like breaking the uh, transfer once it's like dry because it never looks cute when you break it and then i'm just going to be taking some purple realizing and i'm just going to pretty much follow the shape that i just drew it helps a lot when you're realizing it's not like super runny because when it's super runny it won't hold its shape and it's going to go everywhere this is just my personal experience but yeah i'm just going to be the creating this egg let your imagination guide you and do what you feel like doing for this one i'm just using this pattern and yeah i just want to share with you two options like broken egg or like the shell part an entire one so you can see which one you like the most and i think both look super cute and i'm pretty much adding some springy eastery colors just doing the same zigzag motion and then this one i'm just going to go and add some dots just before my icing sets small dots bigger dots i'm just showing you another design that i really liked and see this one is super simple and effective and this is a good way to be creative and just draw what you want Here's another one, like pocket dots, yellow pocket dots over a purple background. I really like that combo. But yeah, just keep on going to whatever design you want to go for. And then just have to let them crust for 24 hours or overnight. And then once they're crust, you just gotta peel them off from the wax paper. It's super easy if you're working with the smoothest part on top. When I had this transfers by themselves, I thought they were cuter if I added two or three of them together. To do that, I'm just going to be using some realizing to just glue. So this is pretty much what you're gonna do. Once you have done that, you're just going to let them sit in crust and this is going to look so much better. Uh, like the complete result is gonna look so cute because then you have like the broken egg or the broken shell and then the chicken's face like showing behind it, if you know what I mean. And yeah, just gotta let that crust and set for again, 24 hours or overnight. Finally, I'm just going to be taking my uh, cupcake. This is just a store-bought uh, that I wanted to try the recipe, the flavor, and I'm using my Wilton baking caps. I do have a review on my channel, and I'm just going to be swirling with my Wilton 2D some real light green, and I'm just going to place my transfers in there. And I think they look adorable, to be honest, when they are like stuck together. And in some cases, I just added more than just the two that I stuck together because I thought it was like super cute. And this is what all of them look like. Honestly, I really like all of them, but I like this one, this the chicken with the two like eggs. And this one has a lot of them. You can customize each Easter egg as to whatever design that you want to go for. Maybe all the same, maybe all different and contrasting with all the Easter like colors and like design and if you want to add like a lot of toppers in just one cupcake or if you just want to keep it simple and just add one and yeah i just really like how they turned out hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff thank you so much for watching happy easter guys i hope you're gonna have an amazing time and yeah i'll talk to you later bye guys